July 9th, 2015. Agent Patterson, ID number 55609. Updating case file 8348Y. Subject, Jane Doe. Still no further authenticated data on the subject. Found naked and alone in Times Square. Her memory wiped. Her body tattooed with what appear to be encrypted clues to future crimes. Who she is and where she came from is still undetermined. What we do know, while the subject can't remember her past, she has retained a broad range of high-level abilities, off-the-charts reflexes, hand-to-hand -hand combat, The extent of these skills and how and where she acquired them remain to be determined. While her narrative memories have been obliterated, the subject's procedural memories remain intact, manifesting as required in response to extreme direct stimuli. Example, Jane Doe can hold her breath while remaining active underwater for over four minutes. any arena and by any metric. The subject displays applied knowledge and skills taught only in high-level military training. With indications of extensive experience in active combat and extremely high levels of success. Subject's mental acuity and cognitive abilities also test in the highest percentiles, with identified fluency in 13 dialects to date. It's correct. Subject's value to the agency is immeasurable. The deciphered tattoos from Jane's body and her contributions in the field have already led to the aversion of a terrorist act and the neutralization of the would-be perpetrator. But what's the larger meaning behind the intricate map of Jane's tattoos? And why is lead agent Kurt Weller's name tattooed on her back? Jane Doe will continue to assist as needed on agency operations relating to her case. Her utility on the team is without question. but her identity is still a mystery. Her entire life remains a blind spot. Agent Patterson, signing off.